Hello, everyone. I am Neofito Sristu from Brown University. The title of my talk today is IVSYN, Automated Vulnerability Discovery in Deep Learning Frameworks. So I'm going to start off with some motivation about why we decided to work on IVSYN. So modern deep learning frameworks follow a pretty similar architecture, where the high-level operations of the frameworks are exposed to developers via high-level, usually Python APIs. But the underlying core of the frameworks is implemented in memory and safe languages, mostly C++. And as you may expect, memory and safe languages have memory errors. And as an example, in just two years, TensorFlow had over 200 CVs related to memory safety issues. So to tackle this problem, we decided to work on IVSYN with a twofold goal. First, to automatically uncover these memory safety and failure runtime errors in deep learning frameworks. And second, to provide framework developers with an easy way to identify and fix the bugs that are causing these memory safety issues. There have been approaches in the past that attempted to find errors in deep learning frameworks, but they have some limitations compared to IVSYN. They're either not specifically aimed at finding memory safety errors, or they're not fully automated, they're requiring manually written fuzzing drivers and so on. So the key idea behind IVSYN is to follow a bottom-up approach by first directly fuzzing the native implementation of the deep learning frameworks, finding crashes there, and then automatically synthesizing what we call proof of vulnerability or POV snippets. There are essentially small snippets that invoke a publicly exposed high-level Python API and trigger the, an, an underlying crash in the underlying native implementation. So we use IVSYN to test PyTorch and TensorFlow, where it successfully uncovered 61 previously unknown security vulnerabilities, and we're also assigned with 39 unique CVs. So for the rest of the talk, I'm going to first explain how IVSYN works. I'm going to show some results and close out with a con conclusion. So IVSYN consists of multiple subcomponents that interact with each other in order to eventually produce these POVs, and I'm going to explain each one of them in more detail. The first thing IVSYN does is it locates each framework's kernels that are essentially the native functions that implement the operations of the framework. And it automatically wraps them with special uh, fuzzing drivers that are responsible for calling IVSYN's fuzzer and fuzzing the corresponding wrapped kernel. Next, IVSYN runs the developer-provided unit tests that come with each framework and are used to test the high-level Python APIs. So when such a test is invoked by IVSYN, uh, execution starts from a high-level API and it flows down to the native implementation where IVSYN injected its wrappers. So when a wrapper is reached, it calls IVSYN's fuzzer and it bootstraps a fuzzing session to fuzz the corresponding kernel. Now, since we injected these wrappers at the native level where, where we have strong static type information, the fuzzer itself is able to fuzz the kernels by performing type aware mutations based on whatever the original argument types were. So the kernels are fuzzed, and whenever a crash is detected, the offending inputs that are causing the crash are logged into crash reports. Uh, the final component, the synthesizer, reads in those crash reports produ produced by the fuzzer, and it automatically generates proof of vulnerability or POV snippets that call a publicly exposed Python API and trigger the underlying crash that was uncovered by the fuzzer. So let's see an example of what this looks like. First, we have a crash report that was produced by the fuzzer. It contains the name of the kernel that crashed and the corresponding native arguments that are causing the crash. And then the synthesizer produces this POV, which essentially turns the native inputs into their corresponding Python level inputs, and then calls a publicly exposed Python API that corresponds to the low level crashing kernel. This POV is saved into a file, which when called from Python, triggers the underlying crash in the native code. The nice thing about these POVs is that we can just give them to the framework developers, and they can use them to easily reproduce and fix the bug that's causing the crash. And some of our POVs were even also integrated as unit tests in the frameworks themselves. So next, some results. We used IVSYN to test TensorFlow and PyTorch, two of the most popular deep learning frameworks. And we wanted, we wanted to answer three main questions. First, how efficient is IVSYN at covering crashing inputs? Second, how effective is it at using these crashing inputs to generate POVs? And third, which of the mutations performed by IVSYN are the most successful at uncovering memory errors? To answer the first question, we compare against a state-of-the-art fuzzer called Aferis, which works by performing byte-level mutations. 
One limitation of Atheris is that it's not fully automated. It requires fuzzing drivers in order to operate. So instead of manually writing the drivers for Atheris, we leveraged IBC's automation to automatically generate fuzzing drivers for Atheris. And we actually generated two different variants of these drivers. First one, which we call Atheris Plus, just tell uh, Atheris how to probably invoke the APIs to be fast, and they let Atheris randomly choose the argument types for the inputs. And then the second augmented variant, which we, which we call Atheris Plus Plus, where we explicitly provide Atheris with the proper argument types. So let's see the results. We have two graphs here, one for each deep learning framework that was tested. The x-axis is the number of hours each tool took to fuzz all the kernels in the experiment, and the y-axis is the number of crashes uncovered by each tool. So as you can see, not only does IVC uncover more crashes than Atheris does, it also does so way faster. So for example, in the first graph in TensorFlow, the base version of Atheris uncovered 35 crashes in more than 100 hours. And IVC uncovered more than double that number of crashes, and it did so more than 10 times faster. Also in this table, we have the total number of crashes uncovered by each tool. And as you can see, IVC uncovers more crashes even compared to the augmented Tybeware version of Atheris. To answer the second question, how effective is IVC at generating POVs? We compared against another state-of-the-art tool called Doctor, which similarly to Atheris also produces Python-level snippets that trigger native crashes. Uh, Doctor is again not fully automated. It requires manually return annotations in order to operate. So in this table, we have the total and median number of crashes, uh, sorry, POVs generated by each tool across our experiments and the median running time. And as you can see, IVC outperforms Doctor it uncovers, it generates more POVs than it does. It does so faster and without the need for any manual effort. For the last question, how effective is IBC? In, uh, sorry, um, we also accumulated all the POVs and crashes generated by IBC across all our experiments. And as you can see, IBC successfully generated 135 POVs. Uh, which is around 73% of the total crashes it generated. It wasn't able to generate POVs for all the crashes be because of some limitations which we mentioned in the paper. We submitted these POVs to the framework developers. They used them to fix the underlying bugs, and we were assigned with 39 unique CVs. For the final question, which of the mutations performed by Avis in are the most successful un in uncovering the memory errors? The main takeaway from this is that the deep learning specific mutations performed by IVSIN, for example, mutating the input tensors, are especially effective at, at uncovering crashes in these types of code bases. And we have a more detailed version in this paper, which you can go check out if you'd like. So to conclude, we created IVSIN, a fully automated framework that uncovers crashes in deep learning frameworks. It works by first uh, performing type hour and deep learning specific mutations in order to fuzz the native implementation of deep learning frameworks and uncover crashes there and then automatically synthesize POVs that trigger the crashes from high level Python APIs. We used it to, tens to test TensorFlow and PyTorch where it successfully uncovered 61 previously unknown security vulnerabilities and was assigned with 39 unique CVs. And if you'd like to check out IOSIN's code, you can do so at the link on the slide. Thank you.